Hi, I'm Mai Lo, and I'm a product manager for Google Meet. Today, I want to tell you all about building engaging interactive experiences you can bring to your users with the power of Google Meet. Let's take a look at what we'll cover. First, I'll give you a brief overview and introduction of Workspace and Google Meet. Then I'll highlight our Meet Add-ons SDK that lets you bring your app inside the meeting experience. I'll show you a case study of an early partner of ours who has built with this SDK and has the experience currently out for general availability. Next, I'll talk about our APIs and some of the latest use cases that have emerged here. And last but not least, I'll close with what's new on our platform and let you know of ways you can get early access to everything we build. And beyond that, have a voice in what we ship. Good stuff, so let's dive in. First, let's zoom out a bit and ask ourselves, why even build with Workspace and Meet? What kind of opportunity are we talking about? Well, let me say this. Our current developers can tell you that they build on our platform to reach over 3 billion users across the globe and over 10 million paying businesses. This kind of reach has translated to over 6 billion app and add-ons that have been installed from the Google Workspace Marketplace. And why Google Meet? I'll tell you four main reasons why Meet is best in class and stands out. First, our product is incredibly simple to use. Just a click and you're connected. We're in the browser and do not need any kind of download. And we are on every Android device out of the box. Beyond that, we are simple to manage and more secure than ever. Last and certainly not least, we're part of the workspace suite of products that users know, love, and rely on every day. So our product just makes sense when users need to connect and engage more deeply. So you see, for your users, Google Meet is easy and just right. So with that in mind, let's talk about Meet Platform. Our platform allows you to extend Meet into other products we know our users love and are spending time in, like your app. First, we have our add-ons SDK, which lets your app come right inside the Meet experience itself. Next, we have our APIs, our REST API, and also our Events API. And with those, you can do things like create meetings and subscribe to notifications about meeting events right as they occur. Third, we have our Meet Embed SDK. And with this SDK, you can embed a lightweight version of Meet inside your own app. So first up, our Meet Add-ons SDK on the web allows you to iframe your app into Meet and lets meeting participants interact with your app's content directly inside the Meet Canvas. We have two frameworks for you to choose from with this SDK, one called Focus, where your app is the focal point of the meeting, and one called Augment, where your app is on the sidebar and, true to its name, augments or enhances the meeting. So let's take a closer look at each of these. In the Focus framework, your app takes on the largest amount of real estate in the meeting and is where we call center stage or main stage. This is best used when your app tends to be the focal point of the discussion, a brainstorming session, for example, maybe a game or a video that you want to co-watch or co-play. In this framework, the setup stage is in the side panel. And with setup, I mean things like login, content selection, and permissions. Then, when the activity begins, the app's content moves into the main stage and the video tiles move to the side, just like the way you see it on the screen here. In what we call an augment framework, your app stays in the side panel throughout the entire meeting experience. And this really works best for apps when the meeting stays the focal point and your content is complementing or rather augmenting the conversation. In the augment framework, your app can either be what we call single player so for just one participant's use only, or multiplayer for everyone in the meeting. 
The focus framework is multiplayer only. So some examples of multiplayer experiences in the side panel could be jotting down tasks that everyone can see in a meeting and edit if needed, or take notes together, or play a fun icebreaker, or even listen to a playlist together. Examples of single player experiences could be more meeting tool focused, like a timer, or even providing powerful insights and coaching to the meeting participant right when it matters the most. So you might wonder, how would a user even come across these experiences? Where would they see my app while they're in Meet? Well, there are many ways our billions of users can discover add-ons. Let me show you a couple of them from Meet here. The first is through our Activities panel, in which users can discover, install, and launch the add-ons right from Meet without ever having to leave the Meet UI. With just a couple of clicks that provide the necessary authorizations and account picking, users will land in a highly impactful and meaningful meeting experience with your app at the center. A second way is through the user screen sharing your app content in Meet. Meet will recognize that your app is an add-on and promote install or what we call collaborative mode to the user right when it matters most. Again, the user won't leave the meeting, but simply go through a two-click install process and stay right where they need to be. These install flows are possible due to our integration with the Google Workspace Marketplace. So while you're sure to delight your own existing user base by building a Meet add-on, this integration offers an incredible discovery moment for you to acquire new users through Google Meet and Google Workspace's user bases. The Meet add-ons SDK for the web is currently in developer preview. So only those enrolled in the special program can access the offering. If you haven't heard yet, the Workspace Developer Preview Program is the best way to get the latest and greatest of what Workspace Platform is building, hot off the press. You not only get your hands on the newest offerings, you also get to give us feedback and help shape the product and any new features we end up shipping. This is also a program that we touch base with frequently when we're wondering about needs and pain points. So it really has multiple avenues for you to make your voice heard with us. So join it today if you haven't already. All right, now that you've heard about what kinds of experiences the add-ons SDK can bring to life, I thought it would be most powerful for you to see for yourselves from one of our partners, Lucid Software. I'll walk you through their motivations behind building an add-on with Google Meet and what the add-on experience ended up looking like and what it has meant for their business so far. So let's dive in. First things first, Lucid focused on its whiteboarding product, Lucid Spark, for building the add-on with us. So I wanna take a moment and explain to you what Lucid Spark is all about. Lucid Spark is a virtual whiteboarding product designed to enable teams to ideate, design, and build better ideas faster. Lucid Spark enables key critical activities such as strategic planning, brainstorming, sprint planning or reviews, and even retrospectives. So basically, anytime you need to visualize ideas and work through something big or small together, Lucid Spark is there for you to be better and faster at it. Lucid decided to focus on Lucid Spark for Google Meet because among their suite of products, the use cases for brainstorming and whiteboarding go particularly well with Google Meet's video conferencing product. There are three reasons why the Lucid Spark team believed an integration with Meet would be highly valuable. First, by integrating with Google's best in class video conferencing product, they effectively combine our powerful ability to connect with their critical ability to align. 
Second, given Google Workspace and Meet's large user base, they had the ability to expose their product to a large base of potential new customers. And third, for those of their users who already know and love Google Meet, they could delight by creating a seamless and effective experience, generating lots of user love. So the LucidSpark add-on launched with Google Meet in September of last year's. And you may wonder, how has it been going? Well, first, the LucidSpark team realized the ease of building integrations with Google and decided to build an even closer partnership with Google and expand its integrations across Workspace platform. This only intensifies their goals around building user love. Case in point, the team has been able to close several new deals for both new and existing customers who they were successful in delighting. At this point in time, over 10,000 meeting participants have collaborated on LucidSpark inside a meet call. All this growth is leading to ultimately a healthy, thriving business, a robust pipeline for even more growth, and delighted customers all around. All right, next up are our Meet APIs. I want to take a moment and let you know that our first version of the APIs has launched to general availability. And I'm so excited to see what you will build with them and to get to hear your feedback and all of your wish lists. We have a REST API, and we're also part of the Workspace Events API that supports Meet and Chat. Our REST API helps you do basic operations around meeting creation and information retrieving. And our Events API allows you to subscribe to meeting spaces or users and allows you to be notified when events you care about happen. Let's dig a little deeper into each of these. With our REST API, you can do basic things like create meeting spaces and retrieve meeting information, such as who all participated in the meeting, when the meeting started, how long it ended up happening for. You can also pre-configure the meeting by setting invitees, assigning host and co-hosts in advance, and even pre-configuring breakout rooms before they begin. During the meeting itself, you can retrieve data that may be changing over time, such as attendee list. Our events API allows you to know about changes that are happening with meetings the moment they are changing. So you can turn around and do something either in your UI or with one of our other platform pieces that would be relevant based on the change. So potential subscriptions could be when meetings are created, when they've started, when participants join and leave, and when a meeting artifact is ready for you to fetch with our REST API. We've been working with a set of early partners for some time on these APIs, and I want to share with you some of the top use cases that have emerged from their feedback. I hope these will get your creative juices flowing and have you deriving your own user journeys that can be powered by our Meet APIs. For example, you can create instant meetings that help connect your users while they are in your app. Or you can post real-time meeting information so that others within a domain may know that a meeting is happening and can join in with the click of a button. You can get notified when users come and leave a meeting so you understand the size of the group and adjust your content accordingly. You can also get notified when recordings or transcriptions are ready for fetching, so you can start analyzing content and posting helpful insights for your users within the context of your app's content. There are lots of options, as you can see, but the main takeaway is that you can seamlessly connect your users and keep their engagement with each other over your app and you can contextualize their experience 
with information you're learning from their meeting time. All right, you've learned about our add-ons SDK and you've heard about our APIs. So what's next for us in Meet Platform? It's our Meet Embed SDK, which allows you to embed a lightweight version of Google Meet right inside your app. This SDK allows you to keep your users inside your own app so you can create a more native-like and contextualized experience for your users. We're currently in alpha with this SDK and actively looking for partners in the space. So if you're interested in trying this out or have use cases and feedback for us, we would love to hear from you. And that brings me to my final plug. You can let us know of your interest by first joining the Workspace Developer Preview Program. Again, this is where we ship our beta versions across all of Workspace Platform. It's a super valuable space for us to let you play with things hot off the press and for us to hear from you firsthand what works and what doesn't. If you haven't already joined, please do. We'd love to have you as an integral part of the journey and building and shipping our platform. And that's a wrap for us. Thank you so much for your time, for being part of this journey with us. And we can't wait to see what you build and to hear all about what you wish for. Enjoy the rest of IO.